<laughs> good morning, good night, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my wonderful, beautiful family. This is your boy Jig from Philly back at it with y'all with another video. You hear me? I told you I'm gonna start doing these vlogs. It took a little minute, but hey, I'm still getting used to this road life. I wanna make sure I'm doing everything right before I start adding you guys to my new life. But I uh, hope y'all enjoyed that little beginning intro. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep getting better at it, you know, doing a little walks and going to the bathroom. Man, I'm gonna do all that. I'm gonna get all that right. But, man, I'm in, uh, let me update y'all real quick. Oh, shoot, banana fell, boss. <laughs> right now, I am in Blue Mountain, Missouri, Mississippi. I am now about to head to Warrington, um, Missouri. Excuse me. And that's where my fuel stop at. So, uh, yeah, this is a a 711 mile drive. So I'm gonna get there tonight, maybe like eight, nine o'clock. Um, it's a drop and hook situation. This is what it's looking like. This is what it's looking like. So we're looking like 11 hours and 13 minutes. So 650 miles total, but I already knocked down majority of the seven. Um, this PC don't update frequently but it's pretty much 11 hour 13 minute drop um right there where you say one that's my fuel stop Drop is right there but uh my drop is not until tomorrow the 5th at 12 o'clock so uh, what i'm gonna do is when i get close i'm going to uh call walmart place and that's where i'm dropping off there call walmart and see if i could be able to see if i could be able to uh drop it off early because it's a drop and hook so it's just a drop and hook so it's not like I'm getting unloaded where I, I need to be on my delivery time. So I feel like that that fifth is just for like an extra day just in case. So, um, yeah, so we're about to get up out of here. And I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace. Yo. What's up? Uh, I'm here and uh, just got the Missouri. I'm uh, doing my little safety check right now. Oh, I'm about to, I ain't do it yet, but it's raining, so I'm about to put my jacket on. But man, what's going on with y'all, man? Hope y'all doing well. Uh, hope everybody's family is doing good. If y'all having any complications, I pray that it all goes well with you and y'all family. And, um, yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> do rag kind of broken. If y'all want to send me a do rag, let me know. It's all new to me. I'm gonna get the hang of it though. Ain't gonna be no excuse. There ain't gonna be no excuse. You get what I'm saying? We gonna get it. We gonna be all right. We gonna be all right. Right here go my Frankie. We thugging. You know what I mean? We thugging. We thugging. You know what I'm saying? Safety checks. Usually go like so. When you safety checking, you just looking at your tires, you know your front, your, your lights, making sure your lights and everything is still working properly, make sure everything green and stuff like that. Uh, you know, just checking your steps and your, you know, I got this little thing. I forgot what it's called, but it's like for your feet. Checking your your, uh, your gas tank, make sure that's good. Checking your cables, make sure they ain't broken, they ain't twisted. You know what I'm saying? Make sure everything's still intact. They all good. Checking under here, checking over around here, make sure everything good. You know, checking your tires, your fifth wheel skid plate, make sure everything still look green. You know what I'm saying? Just checking your cross members. I don't gotta check my locking jaw because obviously, you know, I just drove down here. You know what I'm saying? You could check it if you want, but checking your DOT reflectors aside, make sure everything look good. You know, checking your back tires, you know, giving them a good thump, you know. Make sure they're good. Make sure your uh, tandems is still in place and stuff like that. Your tandem locking pins. Yeah. A little wings. Make sure they're good. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, lights working properly. Got our seals still on there. For anybody that's starting, make sure you always put your lock on your, on your truck. Some people may not require it, but I know I do because it, it saves lives and it make life easier. Why? Because you don't have to worry about anybody going into your truck to, to mess with your product. You get what I'm saying? Oh so, yeah, so that's a safety check. Safety check shouldn't take no more than five minutes. 
if you really want to get in in deep in depth but you know i can check the other side as well the other gas tank and you know everything on the lights stuff like that but i gotta go to the bathroom <laughs> well i'm back um i did not use that bathroom because there ain't nothing but mosquito land in there and me and mosquitoes don't get along so i'll catch i'll catch something else in the meantime but hey we in missouri uh yeah i'm about like two uh, two hours maybe like an hour and some change maybe two hours away from my uh fuel stop which i'll be filling up at flying jays uh the music is busting in here <laughs> but uh yeah so we're gonna do that and uh i'll hit y'all back when i get there but yeah what's popping man we had uh loves uh Man, yeah, Love's about to do my uh my break, 30 minute break ski. So yeah, just wanna update y'all on that. So I'm about to knock this 30 minute break off. I'm gonna head back on the roof. Gotta go to the bathroom, man. You hit me? Walk, 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 walk into the love. What it do, baby? Back, man. Got some food. Got some uh some chest chesters. Uh little tenders or whatever, so you know, just going vibe out with some tenders. My my break is probably over. But, so yes, I can drive for five hours and forty eight minutes, but all I gotta do is just drive up a little bit. This is real. Ah, this is really real. How you doing? Welcome to my video. But uh, yeah, if you if you see that my eleven hour, five hours, you know. Excuse me, but my 14 hours says I got seven hours left. So all right guys change the plans. So um, um, Here at this drop yard in st. Louis, Missouri miss st. Louis I had to park this truck or this trailer because it's going to Kansas. So um, I'm regional So that means that I come home. I come home every week All right. Yeah, so I'm regional so I come home every week. So that means that they need me to you know get get ready to start coming home because today is thursday so they was like they, they couldn't find me no load going back home so they want me to do a relay and drop this trailer off and then they, they got me a load going back towards the crib so pretty much the relay is you drip, you know, drop a trailer at like a drop yard place and the next driver usually comes and pick it up and then finish the delivery either the same day or throughout the throughout the week so they usually have a box on a trailer which you could put the information in right here. And uh, it has a clipboard, as you can see. So, clip it on here, and then uh, close it, and then secure it back. So now, we're going to unconnect the cables and get up underneath this trailer, put the landing gear down, and we out. All right, guys, so we just dropped the trailer. So now I just grabbed a, a empty, which I just picked up, which is right here. Um, so now this you call a lap. Um, lap or is it lap? Is it pile? This is what you call a pile. Um, it's pin, airlines, and landing gear. So we about to do is get underneath this trailer and check check that middle part. Make sure that thing is all the way slid it all. You get what I'm saying? Check the cross members. Make sure they green all over. And uh, now we're gonna go connect the airline. So. Let's go connecty, 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 connecty. All right, bet. So we about to connect the airlines. Old head probably sick, cause he uh he was looking for an empty, but he didn't come all the way over here. So I needed an empty. So he was like, "Come on, loaded trailers, man." He said, "Uh, try looking for an empty. There ain't none. I just checked every one of them." So one thing he didn't do, he ain't can walk all the way down here. Yeah, walk. Man's ain't walk all the way down here, you hear me? So yeah, so now we about to land this, lift this joint up. Ugh. So it's a little dirty, so I ain't about to pitch y'all down, keep it a bean. So one second. All right, so now we about to expect the trailer. Make sure the trailer is good, lights working. Four ways, four ways. Got your little clearance lights at the top. Um, you could open your wings, but I choose not to. Sometimes they'd be annoying, but. You check the DLT flex, check your tires, you know what I'm saying? Thump them jaws. 
Make sure they good. Spray web almost got me in my mitt. Check your your uh your sliding lock pins, whatever. Tandem release arm pins. Make sure your lights working. The side ones working. And then after that, we get up out of here, bro. We out. Alright, we back. So now we about to head to uh Grant Day City, Illinois. Uh 12 miles away. So we about to touch down over there. Drop this empty, pick up a pick up a loaded trailer, and then we head into, and then we are gonna head to uh, Bloomsdale, Missouri, to fill up. And after I fill them bad boys up, we are gonna head to New Caney, Texas, which is 765 miles away. And then uh, I guess we filling again there. And then I pick up, I drop off at Walmart and then pick up an empty. And then I should be on my way to the crib ski. So, we out. Well, all right, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for two minutes so that my clock can reset and I can have a full, I can have the rest of this five hours and 58 minutes, so yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, so since I'm sitting here, I might as well go over with y'all my little plan. So if you see, it's a total of 15 hours and 54 minutes. So the, uh, my first stop is, is like around the corner or whatever. So, well not around, the, yeah, pretty much around the corner. It's 12 miles away, it's like around the corner. Um, then I'm gonna head to number two, which is my fuel. And then number three, and then I'm gonna head back towards Memphis, which I just came from, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, head to my second drop, which is, uh, I meant my third drop, which is, I don't know what the heck this is, number three. What is number three? What the heck? I don't know what that is. Well, I guess that's a, a fuel stop. So I'm gonna head to the fuel stop and then uh then I'm gonna get the dollars. Then I get the dollars or whatever, that's four. New Caney or whatever. Oh well Louisiana. And then then head back to the crib. So they got me going all the way back to the crib ski. Well somewhat back to the crib in a sense. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, so boom. I don't know what five is though. What the heck is five? Oh, five is New Caney, Texas. Oh, duh. So New Caney is back to the crib. Oh, my dumb mind, so. So they literally got me going back to the crib, y'all. They literally got me going back to the crib. That's why I love rail, man. If y'all y'all want a great company to come to, come to rail, man. They look out for you, you hear me? So they got me, they got me going home by Friday, which is tomorrow, so. I'll eat majority of this. No, I will not because, and that's pause, because I only got four hours and 41 minutes on my 11. So. All right, guys, so I had dropped the trail over there in the cut. They told me to drop it off going towards the gate, Missouri Street, Street or whatever. So I dropped that off. I'm about to uh, back into this one trailer that's getting loaded. I'm here at Craft. I'm here at the Craft City. So, uh, yeah, I'm about to go back into Dock 9. And then, uh, when he said, you know, the usual, when they come from red to green, come and get the pig work. And then I'm out of there. So, he said they ain't ready until 8 o'clock. So, you know, I'm early or whatever. But he said I could have somebody do it in a half an hour from now. And I could, you know, let them, let, let them get you out of here. So, I'm like, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? So, I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? So, we about to go back into this dock ski. And, uh, well, I ain't gonna back into it. They said pretty much do that all that when uh, when uh, we done loading. But anyway, y'all get the big picture, man. All right, bet. So, y'all see, I just got behind the trail ski. You know what I'm saying? So, when that red light that's blinking, when that bad boy turned green, we out of there. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, so... Right now we in a sleeper berth, customer loading and unloading. Um, reason why we go there is so that our 14 hour clock don't, you know, decrease a lot. It pretty much like, um, still decreases, but it don't decreases as fast. But sometimes it be still going the same speed. So I don't know what be the point, but hey, I'm just giving out the information that these people gave me, you know what I'm saying? So yeah so this one probably was probably was a little shaky it's my first one so 
you know what I'm saying? I ain't really doing it for really any um any money or stuff like that. I'm just I just want to try something new and I feel like I love talking, so why not try to start doing videos, YouTube videos and editing and stuff like that and just sharing my journey, you know? So that's all I really want to do and you know, if y'all want to support put support the brother, you know, support, you know what I'm saying? Like, comment, subscribe. You know the same old lingo they give. So y'all already know the vibes family. You know, I'll keep y'all updated with more stuff. Um but they definitely lowered my it lowered my trailer. Um so it's up. We about to be heading to the crib, New Caney, Texas. That's about like an hour away from Houston. So it's up. It's up. I'm about to get home and see my babies. Yeah. Alright, family. We're back in this drum. I just went to the bathroom and then I was like, let me go check extra dude. I need to sign in. So he already knew who I was, I guess from that little paycom thing where you talk. So he must have already knew, like, hey, we finished. So he told me what to do. So I'm about to go do that. And I'm about to be out of here. All right, so now he told me to press this button and then hold it and then I'll get the key. And then, yeah, which is this button right here. So I'll hold that bad boy until I guess the key pop out, or I guess I gotta pull that thing. I don't know. I'm about to pull him. Okay, well, I got that jump, so we're about to go unlock the freaking jump. <laughs> okay, so now we got the the right one. <laughs> Y'all excuse me, all right? Don't, don't be trying to make fun of me in these comments, you hear me? I'm still new to this. All right, now let's try it. Let's try it. Let's get this thing off. All right. I guess I bring this back to the bull. I guess. Or do I bring it back here? I don't know if I bring this back here or not. I don't know. Let's, let's take this walk. Okay, let me see. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, I have no idea. All right, family, we got the paperwork ski. You know what I'm saying? So, walking back to the truck now. And uh, we got it all secure. Ain't nothing but Capri Suns. I wish they could have gave me a freaking pack of Capri Sun. I was down that jump. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to down in that jump. They gave me a whole box of Capri Sun ski. But, hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Might as well add this, add this freaking thumbnail ski. Oh, I got to get rubbed on in there. So, yeah, it's up. We about to go. Running the truck. Hit you with her. I don't know. Cause I don't know how to, I don't know how to rep though. All right, back gang, we back. So I got three hours and 46 minutes until I can't dry no more. So uh, we about to hurry up and add this uh, information in. And we gonna go from there. Go on the trailer 64882. Wait. What the weight looking like? Four four seven two three four four seven two three twenty six. Shipper have seal. Hell no. Dude didn't give me no freaking seal. I just realized that. Hold on. Hold on. All right, y'all. So we back. So apparently the spotter bull. Already put it on there. I don't know when, but he one crafty sucker. <laughs> Shipper has seal on it. Yes, indeed. Seal, seal, seal number. Land six two three ski nine nine six eight. Odometer. One eight seven zero three six. Uh, we out Bloomsdale, Missouri Here I come That, that joint 64 miles That's about That's about like Hour and some change Alright, bet Alright, yo, we out To be honest, I'm gonna try to drive my stand. I'm gonna try to drive my truck like this <laughs> But yo, we out I'm gonna touch down back Yo, we get to the fuel stop Alright, yo, so um, I'm sitting here because 
It's a train. There it go. So this is the train that's being a bed. It ain't that long normal. So uh, we ain't gonna be here for a minute, but that's a good job. But uh, yeah, we just chilling. I have approximately three hours and 33 minutes to drive, um, but I'll make it to my fuel stop, which is 64.3 miles. And that's about like an hour and some change, or like an hour 30 drive away, hour 50, close to that. But um, yeah, so that ain't bad. And I could be able to, I'll have like two hours to milk down the clock a little bit and find somewhere to park, so. But nice, so I'll update you guys. I get back to the fuel stop. Hopefully, we have no more issues. And I could finally show y'all some backing because I, I couldn't be able to do it. There's so much going on so fast, but yeah. That's how you back up a freaking truck, nigga. <laughs> All right, guys. So you just saw me back up. Uh, it wasn't really nothing crazy. I promised y'all I was going to give y'all a backup video. It was just some little maneuvers I had to do because I did a 360 or whatever. And um, there's a lot of trucks kept coming, so I had to pull up or whatever. So it was it was weird. But anyway, I got in. I'm, I'm in the spot, you know. Um, I'm at Love's, you know, favorite spot in the joint. But uh, yeah, I'm at Love's, um, I'm taking it down tonight. I got an 11 hour drive tomorrow back to New Caney, Texas, which is pretty much Houston, Texas. And uh, yeah, it says I'm gonna arrive there at 8, 8 8.05, 8.34, 35, one of those two. And um, I got a fuel stop at no later than nine o'clock no later than 9 30 so i'm take i'm uh i'm going off duty now so that my clock can reset so uh yeah so when my clock reset which would be uh was it 10 hours so it's 7 7 30 i should be uh reset it um hope y'all like this day in the life vlog today I, yeah Hope y'all like it. Hope y'all enjoy it. I'm getting better. So, like I said, you know, uh, if, if I don't get paid, I don't get paid. It is what it is. But if, if I can help y'all to the best ability, so, show y'all a day of the life of a truck driver and how everything works, then shoot. By all means, I will continue to keep doing that. So, stay, stay in touch, y'all. You know, we family. You can fully about to be out of here. So, y'all stay safe, my family. And stay cold-blooded. This world is crucial.